Hey guys, how you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I have this, this is actually the lid to one of my boxes I'm making and I wanted this to be like a tree ring or you know at least the colors of a tree and being that it's wood and it's compressed wood I believe yeah it has to be that it soaked up a lot of the color so there's no sense in me even glossing it now I have the, the bottom half I'll show you in a bit but anyway I'm just going to go ahead and pour some a little bit darker colors on it just so that we can I can make it look pretty like a tree ring in a way well not a tree ring but like tree like wood there we go that's what I mean to say Oh, I know my air is going to pop on probably. I forgot to turn it off. I'll just help with my sides a little here. I just did a tree ring swirl, believe it or not. I'll show you that too. I didn't do it on the video though. Yeah, this one needed to be a tad bit darker. Just did not come out looking dark. So maybe now that it's got a second coat, it will. And that's pretty. Whoops. Hard for me to hang on to that stuff. Oh, see, that's why I put sticks on my stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's cool. Looks like a tree ring for sure. Wish I could do that with the, uh, when I'm trying to do a tree ring on my canvases. <laughs> All right, so let me check the sides real quick. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, if you can see this one, even the side of this one. I don't know if you can see it on the side. It looks really good. Let me hold it up real quick. Pretty. Okay, so there's my lid. Now I'll show you the, the tree ring canvas I just did. I can hold this up so you guys can take a look at it up close. No, I'm not going to torch it because I'll see no bubbles. My paint's been sitting here for quite a while. So that's going to be a pretty lid. And it will match the bottom part, but I'll, I'll show you it. Hold on. Okay, so here is my tree ring. What is this automatic focus pushed for? Okay, so there it is. Wish I would have done that on camera. That's what I was trying to do last week, but I didn't use tree colors. So this one I did. Turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with that one. Okay, and then this was another one I was doing. Did not work out too well though. Actually, I accidentally swirled my paint, so I just did a dirty pour with this one. But yeah, this one's cool. That's definitely looks like real tree wood to me. Okay, then oh, where is that? bottom half to that jewelry box. Oh, where did I put it? Huh. 
Oh, right there it is. So this is the bottom part to what I just did. And the sides didn't turn out very colored, but I think once I do gloss it, a little bit of that wood will come pop out. But the bottom came out looking pretty good, too. So anyhow, I'll, the bottom I'm not particularly caring about too much. Anyway, I'll show you the jewelry box that I did the other day. I told you I would show it to you finished. Love the little clasps. And you can see shimmers. Because that was done with that sapphire metallic. And it came out real nice. I glossed it and everything. Then here's another one I worked on. For my daughter. Jeez, I can't remember if I showed you guys these. Well, I know you've seen this one. I know you've seen me making this one. And I made this one too. It's a different box completely. It's kind of cute. It has this little, you know. I like this one because of the colors. And these are little tiny canvases for those little tiny easels. <laughs> these are my daughter's. They made these when they were over here. Mm -hmm. Here's a tiny little terracotta pot I made. And it actually had cells in it. showed up with cells, which amazes me. And there's another terracotta pot, a big one. I glossed that real pretty. Pretty neat. They smell good. I love that smell. Now, these were sprayed. The pots. This one turned out real pretty. I really dig that one. And I did the inside with pavement color. A little different. But. And then my little tiny glass pot, I did this this week. And I better hurry up because I think my light's going to go out. <coughs> oh, I'm boiling a ham bone. I'm going to make some pea soup with that. I need to turn that up a little bit. Split pea soup or navy bean. Or I'll put some northern beans in there or something like that. Yeah, I'll let that boil for about four hours on low. Um, oh yeah, this was the little canvases, and I know my camera's starting to mess up, but this one here, oh, my goodness, so it's a little easel, I think I showed you that one time, but I finally glossed my picture for that one, pretty neat looking, that's it. So I thought I'd show you those completed boxes. Like I said, I would, and I like this lid. And hopefully it will show up more color than the last one. Alrighty. You guys take care now. I will talk to you tomorrow. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully you're doing real good. And talk to you later. Bye.